I, I want to ask you um, about your wife and her business, if that's okay. I yeah. know that um, you've talked about how she helps people get out of pain, and I'm not super familiar with it, but that's also another, you know, part of aging. People get joint pains or um, different injuries that they've been maybe living with for a while. What? How does she help people get out of pain? Yeah, that's a great question. So she was working, it's actually how we met. She was working for the same company that I was, but only in, in Colorado where I was in Utah. And my specialty was more on the nutrition and, and strength training side of things. And she is a personal trainer, but eventually uh, she got certified as a comprehensive Pilates instructor. Um, so, so she was into that world and she just has this gift of like being able to see a body and see how, um, somebody is moving in a way that might cause pain in their life. She's just been very good at that, where I've never been good at that. And so eventually through Pilates, she got hooked up with somebody who was familiar with the system that she eventually got trained in, which is called Rossiter. And it's named after a guy called Richard Rossiter. And, I, I don't blame you for not knowing anything about it. Um, it is extremely um, esoteric. It's a little bit strange. Not a lot of people do it. Even people in the industry don't really know about it. The closest thing I can describe is it's it's very similar to rolfing. Um, but in rolfing, which I don't know a ton about, I believe they use like more elbows or hands to manipulate the body. Uh, my wife is only 130 pounds. And, and so to work on somebody you know, who can come in and be 300, 400 pounds, like that's going to be really tough on her body. So the roster system works by um, having the practitioner stand on the person. So she's got different level stands and poles to help her keep balance. And then she'll position somebody on the ground, typically, or in a chair, depending on what she's doing. And she'll use different parts of her foot to apply pressure to different places in the muscle tissue um, and then have the person determine not only how much pressure they're taking from her. So she only gives the person, she's not like, you know, creating tons of pain in people by standing on them. It's the person that decides how much pressure they take. And then they just kind of move through a series of different stretches. Bethany can coach them through different things um, or they can move kind of creatively and just kind of explore what kind of feels good to them and they'll do a technique for maybe 30 seconds a minute something like that and then the person will get up and kind of walk around and take some deep breaths and kind of like reintegrate the movement and we find um that you know fascial tissue is all over the body it connects everything literally connecting your tongue all the way to your toes and different systems that work that way are absolutely fascinating. We've got all the um, anatomy trains is what they're called, different posters on our wall where you can see like, wow, how all the fingers from both sides of your body connect all the way through the body in different lines and she's a fashion. So um, yeah, so people come in and see her and they might have hip pain that Bethany might work on through the opposite shoulder or the mm -hmm. knee and um, maybe somebody's feet and, and it opens up like space all over the body so people can really literally get out of pain and start to move better. And, you know, I, I'm very biased. She's my wife. And so of course I'm going to be very biased, but I've seen so many amazing things where people have been working with chiropractors or physical therapists, or maybe have gotten surgery or heaven forbid they've gotten cortisone shots or whatever. And, you know, in a really limited amount of time working with Bethany, maybe it only takes one or two or maybe three sessions. People are moving way better. They feel way better and they can move through life without pain. So that's a little bit about what, what she does. She's yeah, she's very good at it. Oh, that's awesome. And uh, why did you say, uh, heaven forbid the cortisone shots, you want to elaborate on that a little bit? Yeah, I'm not an expert in this. I can just tell you, um, you know, what I've learned over the years and what my I've seen in my clients and what um, what Bethany has told me. It's it, it seems that a cortisone shot, you know, you're only kind of masking pain and masking a problem. And I just hear over and over that it just kills the tissue in the areas that you get those shots done. Um you know, if, if there's no other option and you know, you're going to be kind of getting these shots for the rest of your life, like maybe, okay, that's fine. But, uh, you know, I notice with my clients, they seem to be less and less and less effective. The more and more shots they get, you can get them every three months. And I notice that people need them, you know, pushing up to that three month kind of level where, you know, it's getting to be two months after getting a shot, they're already back in pain again. So I, I don't, I don't love them. I haven't heard the best things about them. Anecdotally, I don't see that they are a long-term solution. Just yet again, another kind of um, a band-aid in the medical industry that's covering 
um, symptoms versus addressing the actual pain. So again, if somebody is in really bad pain and that's the only way they can do things and they don't mind being on chronic, you know, getting shots, it's one thing, but yeah, not, not a huge fan if you can do something else to avoid it.